Hey, back in Halo. This should be interesting. Welcome back, and um, yeah. Last episode was um a little rough. And I got the subtitles to work properly this time. I don't know why I just didn't do it the first time, but it's all good. Weather patterns here seem natural, not artificial. I wonder if the ring's environment systems are not designers wanted the installation to have this weather. This is Fire Team Pluto requesting immediate assistance from any UNSC forces. Does anyone copy? Over. I didn't think there were any human forces left on this part of the ring. Cortana to Fire Team Zulu. I read you. Fire Team Zulu, this is Cortana. Hold position. We're on our way. Roger that. Make it quick. I didn't mean to fall down there. Okay. Stupid. Light work. Ooh, that was close. I see a little some of light flashing from my eyes right there. Who's shooting at me? Don't run from me. Don't run from me. Okay. I was became victim of circumstances right there. In your stomach, sir. Don't run. 
coming for me. I can play the mid. Oh shit. Yeah, I didn't think so. Alright. There was another. It got me out here clapping alien cheeks. This ain't Mass Effect. Been lied to you now at this point. It's of the circumstances right there. Okay. I don't know how I missed the target literally standing dead in front of me. I'm not entirely sure where to go, but I will figure it out. The Covenant placed their tanks to defend the entrance to the tunnel. An invisible dude or a ghost. Cute. My scorpion is surprisingly good. Tried me and failed. Oh my god, why is the aim on this so bad? Will you get on the fucking scorpion, please? Okay, whatever, bro. You stay here and die. I can shoot through that, but I can't shoot through a fucking tree. Stupid as that shit. Yes. 
so stupid. Oh my god, I died to something so stupid. How would I miss you? I'm never gonna... Come on. You've got to be kidding me. What killed me? Come on, no. I'm not trying to continue doing this shit. <laughs> of course. Wow, you stuck me in the worst place imaginable. Really? Die. That was dark. I apologize. <clears throat> I just move on. Okay. <clears throat> what sh okay. Oh, never mind. I was about to say, what shit storm awaits me next? Guess not. Oh boy. <clears throat> That is crazy placement. Okay, you guys are actually going to make it kind of frustrating. I'm also glad you guys don't move too much either. Again, you guys are invisible, <clears throat> not invincible. Okay. She went a lot way smoother than it should have. Analyzing. This must be the control room. This is a weird angle to put me at. The entrance to the control center is at the top of that pyramid structure. Bring me up there, I should be able to get us inside. Fuck 
Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh shit! Fuck me, dude! Oh my god, I have to survive that and. <sighs> Again, invisible, not invincible. You know, I appreciate everything that I just picked up. Oh, hello. On the terminal. Six hours since the sentience landed in sector 1215. And so far, they have not attempted to exit the remains of their vessel. Ah. I say remains because their landing was either not executed adequately or this vessel lacks significant maneuvering capability. The visible portions of the vessel have suffered catastrophic structural damage during the violent landing experience. I have detected atmospheric leaks in 17 distinct locations along the hull. My analysis shows that the mixture of gases coming from the ship matches the natural atmosphere on my installation almost exactly. Perhaps the occupants, if they still live, were originally cataloged here. Perhaps these beings will confirm that the plan was successful and that the galaxy has returned to its proper cadence. I am beyond optimistic. No, definitely not. But I do not understand why these sentients have not attempted to exit their vessel. Other than the leaking atmosphere, the only thing emanating from this wreckage is an automated distress call. I am currently translating this automated broadcast, but with such a limited data set and no direct communication, I do not anticipate full comprehension. Given the short-range nature of this craft, it is likely that other vessels are nearby. But, in accordance with procedure, I am blocking the distress call. No communication of the location of That's any smart. installation is permissible. I admit great curiosity about these visitors. While the plan is quite clear about procedure for this situation, I have my doubts. How many failure points can the plan sustain before blind adherence becomes counterproductive? Surely, in light of all that has changed, I should be able to modify my responses to adapt to No. I have duties. And I have a terrible cargo here. I must be sure. I shall obey and content myself to monitor. Good I idea. Good so idea. So many questions to ask. So many questions. Okay. No, what, what are you doing? Alright. Well, I unironically found the terminal. No, I know if I die, it's not going to checkpoint me. I know it's not. Well, he already did. That's convenient. Okay, why are we sli- why are we- Can I get this? Can I get these? Thank you. No, don't swap to that shit.
Ok, ¿qué voy? ¿Aquí? Can we please? We're not doing this. Do it yourself. This doesn't work with hunters. He's not the way intended. I literally just fall. Okay. Guess it wasn't that bad of an idea. The fact that he can survive rocket launchers is insane. Majestic. This took way longer to get here than it should have. But it's okay, we're here. We are here. Try there. Ooh. You all right? Never been better. You can't imagine the wealth of information. Ain't gonna lie though, back then, 2001, Cortana looked good. Glorious. I'm gonna shut up. So, what sort of weapon is it? What are you talking about? Let's stay focused. Halo, how do we use it against the Covenant? This ring isn't a cudgel, you barbarian. It's something else. Something much more important. The Covenant were right. This ring. It's Forerunner. Give me a second to access it. She just got no butt. 
also called a fortress world. She ain't got no booty. No, that can't be. Oh, these covenant fools. They must have known. There must have been signs. Slow down. Not till later though. Later though, she she got that. She got some ass. Not booty, she ass. Let me stop. The captain, we've got to stop the captain. Keys? What the weapons we... cache he's looking for. It's not really we can't let him get inside. I don't understand. There's no time. Get out of here. Find keys. Stop him. Before it's too late. Oh boy. That's where I'm stopping. <laughs> Oh boy. This was a uh fight and a half. Uh work difficulty in certain levels does prove to be a problem. But doable. So um I'm gonna leave that there. Next level is going to be guilty spark and um I already know I already know what I'm going to be dealing with there, so if you liked the video, give it a like, comment down below your thoughts, subscribe, and uh, I'm gonna go eat something. I'm hungry. Bye.